Well, Locke says, though, that if you're going to give a gift, why not give one that gives back, something we can all do? Sh you're going to show us some of the things that give back, some of your favorites? These are some of my favorites. I'm going to start over here. Yeah. Aren't these gorgeous handbags? Yeah. These are These are Lager handbags. Um, a family who was moved by the tsunami of Indonesian descent, but American, went back to Indonesia, and they now run an income-generating program where women make these bags. Each bag takes one day. They receive more than a fair wage, and their rent is paid, and some of them go to school. So when you buy these beautiful handbags, you are uplifting the lives of women in Indonesia. So we love Laga. And this is red. Red is um, not a charity. Red is a business. And they are in the business of making money to donate to the Global Fund, which eradicates AIDS in Africa. Um, 3,600 people are still dying every day on the continent of Africa. And they're dying because they don't have medicine. So when you buy a red product, you are helping to fund the Global Fund in order to give people who need it medicine. So this is Starbucks coffee. We all go to Starbucks. We all buy it. Um, this coffee, this red coffee, doesn't cost any more than the regular bag of Starbucks coffee, but a dollar goes to the Global Fund. So love that. For every bag you buy. Yeah, for a every dollar bag goes. you buy. That's great. Um, and these are the Starbucks gift cards. Every time you swipe this card, five cents goes to the Global Fund. So imagine if everybody in every Starbucks around the country is swiping this, what it can That's do. That's good. And then chocolate. We all love chocolate. Yes, we do. Yes. This is divine chocolate. I love them. Uh, this is made in Ghana, and um, Cocoa Farms in Ghana, we all have to make sure that Cocoa Farms give uh, the people who work them a fair wage and also that they don't use child labor. And with Divine Chocolate, you know that not only are the farmers getting a fair wage, but something really that I've never heard of, the Ghanaian farmers own 45% of this company. So not only do they get a fair wage, but they're invested and get investments from this company, and they, the chocolates are good. You had some, right? Yeah. <laughs> The white chocolate is, oh my God, it's to yeah. die for. It's divine. It's divine. divine. Okay. And then UNICEF greeting cards. I told you guys I used to work for UNICEF. It's one of the best organizations in the world helping women and children in 150 countries, clean and safe water, uh, immunizations, education, disaster relief. And we all buy greeting cards. We buy birthday cards all the time. I love you cards. I'm sorry cards. Why not buy a UNICEF card and know that you're helping women and children around the world? Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. For more information on Malak's great ideas for gifts to give back, you can go to Oprah.com. Her book, If It Takes a Village, Build One, is in stores now. We'll be right back.